Hey, good morning everybody. Robert here. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've put out a video and that's way too long. So I wanted to check in with you guys and give you an update on what's been happening, why I haven't put a video out. I've got a bunch of errands to run around Charlottesville here. So I figured you guys could join me. I'd show you a little bit of this great city I live in and tell you uh, the, the reasons I haven't made a video. I think you might find them interesting. So let's go do it. All right, here we are at the Stonefield Shopping Center here in Charlottesville. I'm here to run the most important errand of the day, and that is seeing this movie, John Wick 2. Uh, I am really pumped up about seeing it. I loved the first one. Uh, I can't wait. So I'm gonna walk around this little plaza here for a bit, and, uh, and then go see this movie. See you guys in a bit. You probably noticed by the stores that Charlottesville is a little on the preppy side. Just a little. You know what my wardrobe's been missing? Peach colored pants. I wonder where I could get those. So John Wick 2, yes, just as awesome as I had hoped it would be. One of the reasons I haven't published a video in a while is I had this idea that instead of showing you guys a single day in my life, I was going to show you an entire week. So I spent a week shooting it and then another about another week editing it and the video just kind of sucked. It turned out really bad. So I decided not to put it out there. I didn't want to waste your guys' time uh, with a bad video. So I scrapped it. I may revisit it someday. I, I might re-edit it or just shoot another week entirely. We'll see. But in the end, it just ended up being a big time killer. Uh, and it's one of the big reasons why I haven't uh, published anything in a little while. But I'm kind of back on track now, so it is what it is. All right, off to the library. Uh, Got to return some books. Exciting stuff. <laughs> library is located in. Uh, it's pretty different for Charlottesville. Pretty much all the buildings here in Charlottesville look the same. Uh, they all kind of have that Jeffersonian architecture. It's all bricks and columns. And uh, But this real modern building it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, but I kind of like it. The second reason uh, for not publishing a video in the last couple weeks is I'm in a really bad place right now. Uh, I'm stopped taking a certain medication under the uh, advice of my psychiatrist who I'm no longer seeing. I'm actually switching psychiatrists. So uh, the medication that I was on is completely out of my system now and it's just left me in a really bad place. I'm in the midst of, of a pretty deep depression. It comes and go. I'm feeling okay, okay today, but some of the days it can be pretty bad. And on top of that, my panic and anxiety has just been through the roof. So I'm not going to get real deep into it, but it's been pretty bad lately. But it's something I'm working on. I'm seeing start a new psychiatrist in about two weeks, and I've been seeing a therapist. So hopefully that'll get better. It's made it hard to to care about making vlogs and videos when the world seems kind of so bleak. But like I said, I'm working on it. It'll get better. It always does. I, I've been through this before. It really does feel like every other building here in Charlottesville has this Jeffersonian architecture. It's the, the dome and columns with this little half circle window in it. They're all over the place. I mean, just look how many I've come across today while I've been driving around. I guess it's what gives Charlottesville its charm. Uh, but anyways, I'm hungry. Let's go get some tacos. Yeah. So one of my favorite taco places here in Charlottesville is this place called Brazos, and it's located in this kind of funky little art park. Uh, let's go check it out and then get, then get something to eat. I'm hungry. Yeah.
last reason I wanted to mention for why I haven't made a video in a little while is because the last two out of three sessions I took pretty significant losses so I took kind of a break from poker for about two weeks uh, because I wanted to see if I could figure out what was happening. It's become real clear to me now that uh, after reflecting on this for a while that I, I just wasn't playing my A game. I mean, part of it was that I was getting second man hands, maybe a little bad luck, card dead, things like that. But the real reason why I was losing was just I, I wasn't playing very well. I think it's kind of a, a real truth in poker that the winning players, the professional players, are the ones who can consistently play their A game, who can consistently play a kind of fundamentally solid game. And I, I'm just not doing it as consistently as I need to be to be the player that I, that I want to become. Um, I, I'm doing it enough where I'm a, a small winner. I think I'm averaging four to five uh, big blinds an hour, which is good, but I, I think I could do better, especially the one, two. And to do so, I, like I said, I need to consistently play uh, a fundamentally solid game. I can't constantly be going between my A game and my C game, which I think is what I've been doing a lot recently. So these kids are fucking going crazy. So I took some time off from playing to do some studying. One of the things that I started doing was just from scratch working on my pre-flop starting standards, my pre-flop game. Somebody whose opinion I really respect mentioned that most of the problems you have post-flop are because of mistakes that you made pre-flop. So I've been making sure that I've got a really solid pre-flop game. Also been studying Andrew Seidman's easy game very closely and practicing the lessons that I'm learning in there online. Uh, I, I'm getting to a point now where I, I'm feeling kind of back to where I should be, back on track, I guess, and, and ready to get back to start playing. So so I think this coming week here, I'll be back to playing live. And of course, since I'll be playing live, I'll be able to vlog and, and make some new videos. So uh, looking forward to that and getting some new videos out to you guys. And hopefully I'll have some good results to show you. Just out taking the dog for a walk, but I wanted to let you guys know that right after I shot this footage that you just watched, um, I got super sick. Some kind of stomach virus or flu or something. I don't know what it was. All I do know is it kicked my ass. Uh, I was in bed for five days straight. I couldn't do anything other than just moan and whine while I laid in bed. It was pretty pathetic. But I'm feeling better now, kind of back on track. Not quite 100%, but, but feeling okay. Enough to take the dog for a walk, apparently. But yeah, gonna go play poker tomorrow for the first time in, gosh, I guess it's been three weeks. I can't believe it's been that long since I've played. But yeah, gonna go out and of course gonna vlog while I'm out there. So hopefully I'll have an interesting session for you guys to see. But that's it for the vlog today. If you liked it, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. But most of all, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.